Tomorrow, you're invited to the Rhode Island State House at 5 in the afternoon to celebrate National Adoption Month. The night will feature adoption awards and the traveling Adoption Rhode Island Heart Gallery. Patrice Wood tells us the gallery has caught the eye of many adoptive parents. They are the faces of children in foster care, representing the hundreds who are waiting to be adopted. For the past decade, Rhode Island photographers had donated their time and talent to the Adoption Rhode Island Heart Gallery, and their pictures get results. For example, Lace. Her beautiful portrait was among the many in the traveling gallery. She is now adopted by Lori and Kelly, who saw the picture and called Adoption Rhode Island. And then there's Destiny and Shaheem, also featured in the exhibit. There's Destiny. She's a sweet little girl. He's a fun brother. She means everything to me. The siblings grew up in foster care. They've both been adopted now by separate families, but they remain in contact with each other. And then there's DJ. His portrait now hangs in his adoptive home. He's been adopted by a single mom, Christine Hunt, and they're having the time of their lives. And Pedro has a success story to tell as well. We featured him in our Tuesday's Child Report, getting one-on-one -on -one mentoring from the Bryant Bulldogs head coach, Marty Fine. Pedro's patience paid off, and now he's the son of Nancy and Stephen Albert. And let's not forget about the photogenic brothers, Anthony and Giovanni. It was Anthony's portrait that first made it to the dining room wall of Lou and Jim. And it wasn't long before his biological brother, Giovanni, joined them. There are so many kids who need to be adopted, you know, who need homes. And, and there are people out there, we hope, uh, who will hear our story and know that uh, there is success out there, success for them and, and for us as well. Patrice Wood, NBC10 News. And if you'd like information about the celebration at the State House late tomorrow afternoon, please call Adoption Rhode Island at 401-865-6000. There you can also get information about other children who are waiting for homes. There's also information at turn to 10com